What you'll notice is that I have a right spindle already defined. And inside of my right spindle, if we look at the properties here in the stock setup, I can see that my chuck from this point is 15 inches away. And it's also preset for a 4 inch diameter. We're going to go ahead and create the stock transfer option here. And you'll notice just like the stock flip, I can select my transfer geometry. I'm going to offset this by 20 just as we did before. And Mastercam already has a lot of these options automatically populated by how we set up the stock setup. What it doesn't know is what my pickoff position is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and select my pickoff position. I could say quadrant since I didn't say from OD. And I can select that quadrant point and get my Z value as well as the D value. Then a green check OK. Put it in my top view. And we're going to fit this to the screen for my right spindle. So now that our part is loaded into our right sub spindle here, I need a tool that can actually machine on this right face. If I go to my lathe tool manager, I'm going to go ahead and select my OD rough, simple 2D tool, and I'm going to drag it into the upper library here, the turret that we have, and I'm simply going to double click. Now whenever you're selecting tools for your right spindle, you need to make sure that you go into your setup for the tool. And here you'll see an active spindle, whether it's going to be the left or right. You'll also see the mounting position being done as you toggle between the two. What this is going to let me know is whether we're going clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on the mounting position as well, and the tool setup itself. So again, always pay attention to this little picture here, and if you're unsure, we can green check, and we can actually draw this particular tool. I'm going to hit Escape. I now have this tool for my right subspindle here. And I want to go inside of this and actually change, um, change my tool number around. I'll call this one, we'll say, Tool 11. That way I'll have two tool number ones there. And there we go, 11, 11. And I'll green check OK. So now whenever we're working on this particular operation, or this particular uh, spindle here, I'm going to load a finish for this. And inside of our finish, I'm going to go ahead and select this sub spindle tool. Now you'll notice at the very bottom our axis combination. See how it changes from the lathe upper left to a right upper. And I can also go into my right upper and I can create a new plane here. We want to use this one for maybe G54 and our right upper for G55. I can select my Z here to be the end of this part. And that's the new location. And I can green check OK. And I'll say sub spindle face for our comment. And inside of our face, I can say finish Z here, rough, finish operation, that looks good, and I'm simply going to green check OK. So now we have our sub spindle being done for the facing operation. 